Sophia. Um, I work at the New Life Alexandria campus. Um, I'm the young adult uh, apprentice. Um, I went to Germana Community College and I uh, majored in nursing. I love to do art. I specifically love sculpting, um, but because sculpting is so expensive, I just do painting. Um, so I love to paint. Um, I hate mushrooms. Um, I hate blueberries, but I love Afghan food and Mediterranean food is my favorite. My dad is um, Afghan and my mom is American. Um, we leaned a little bit more towards the Afghan side of things, um, especially when hanging out with cousins who were fully Middle Eastern. So I have five brothers and two sisters. Um, we did grow up in church. Um, we actually went to McLean Bible Church, um, which was a huge, huge church, but been going to church all my life since I was little, um, and I was raised Christian um, in an Afghan household, which is very contradictory. Being raised Afghan, but also Christian, it was very, um, I had a very skewed perspective as far as how maybe how women should be treated or how women should be valued um, or how useful women can be. Um, and, but uh, was able to lean into more uh, a Christ aspect towards everything and just kind of solely um, commit to that and understand what Christ tells us about um, the right way to, to treat a woman or to, um, uh, to conduct yourself as a woman. So what initially attracted me to God was knowing that he was my true father. So um, a lot of times I would try and please my earthly father or um, try and replace my earthly father with, with another human being um, and see if I can you know, make a father figure out of, out of that grown man. Um, but I, it always fell short and I always felt um, very unworthy. So once I realized that I should only be pleasing my Heavenly Father and should only be following what He's telling me to do and be very obedient to His instructions, um, His very clear instructions, that's where I began to, to find worth and um, to, feel, to feel like a daughter. Initially, what drew me into Christian community was um, the love that I felt from, from true Christians. There's always aspects in Christianity to where people don't um, fully reflect Christ. Um, so looking past those, those uh, actions and looking past those certain personalities, I was able to find true love um, in, in other people. Um, because Christ provided them that love. So understanding that that's how Christ's love is shown um, really drew me to, uh, to be in the Christian community. I was uh, 12 years old when I had my salvation moment. Um, I, it was the summer before seventh grade. I was uh, walking my dog. Um, at that time, I was living with my brother and his wife, um, and both of my parents weren't in my life anymore, and um, I just repented while I was walking with my dog. I just told, I just started very simple, and I told Christ that I don't want to cuss anymore, and I don't want to judge people anymore. Um, so that little 12-year-old, I just wanted to make a step towards um, him becoming my my true father and me actually serving him um, because I was tired of the life I was living as a 12 year old um, and realized that I just want him completely and I just repented in that moment. My call to ministry, um, I believe, and I don't know where um, and I don't know when, but I um, am pursuing becoming a, a nurse practitioner a pediatric nurse practitioner so I can serve people in the medical medical community because um, I believe you need that hook um, to draw people in and then tell them about Christ. A lot of people, um, even us ourselves, won't really accept something um, 
unless someone has something to give. So I want to use everything that Christ has given me as far as living in America, having the opportunities. Um, so becoming, becoming a nurse practitioner, I think, is the best way that I could do that um, with what he's called me with. And then um, having the, the root being um, evangelism. I joined the AIR program because I thought it would be a great opportunity. I really want to know how a church functions, but specifically New Life, because New Life isn't a church. It's a, a very clear ministry. Um, it's like 90% ministry and like 10% church. Um, so I really want to know how, how that can come about and how something that can thrive so well with so much true uh, Christian love, um, how I could implement that in my own organization or in my own, um, in my own life personally. So I want to pursue those leadership skills that New Life will teach me. I didn't realize what purpose was until I met Christ. Um, I didn't understand if I had a purpose or um, what that truly meant. Uh, before I met Christ, it was thinking that productivity was my purpose, just being productive in my day and making myself useful. But um, in reality, it's just whatever Christ is calling me to.